This is a new one. This is from this is courtesy of BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed News shared the following. An 18 year old saw her mum, aunt and uncle in a DC video, so she named them. So I'm assuming that her mum and uncle were at the mum, aunt and uncle were at the uh, Capitol building protest. And this 18 year old decided to basically fob in her parents to the authorities. Now, just from looking at the headline alone, I would say just off the bat before I read the actual article, it shouldn't be um, too far fetched for me to say you shouldn't fob in your family, regardless of their political leanings, ever. Especially anything to do with politics. You know, it, it gets a little bit sketchy when you say, oh, should you snitch on your parents if they attempt, if they kill somebody, rob a bank, I don't know, whatever, do something nonsense with kids. That goes, that goes some, that goes a whole different, different territory and probably a story, a uh, topic for another day. But when it comes to politics, when it comes to saying something a little bit um, discriminatory, something a little bit racist at home behind the closed doors right something a little bit classist whatever it may be i think that's just part and parcel of existing in a family you're going to have people within your family who have very odd um world views and part of the beauty of being in a family is that you love them regardless of that and part of the training that you get from loving them regardless of what their political opinions is is that when you go out into the real world it equips you to not be so triggered when somebody says i like wearing a red tie not a blue tie because you already had a lot to deal with back home but i think nowadays because everyone's got this incessant need to share everything with their family and have them accept who i am like you know guys in their mid-30s transitioning and coming out to their conservative african parents and then getting upset that they don't accept them it's like what are you doing do you need to live that existence with your family? Can you just do it on your own? Do you really need to kind of declare to your parents at the age of 45 that you love to, you know, get up to whatever you love to get up to on the weekend? I think they're probably aware of your, you know, orientation. They probably just would rather pretend it doesn't exist. And when they're ready to accept it, they accept it. But this constant need to have all of everybody in your family to beat, to move to the beat of your own drum, especially in politics. Forget, don't get me wrong. Coming out to your parents might be a whole different thing, right? Whole other issues go in there. I'm not gay. I'm not from the LGBT community. So I don't know what actually goes on there. So there's a lot more tied to the whole aspect of coming out than just the idea of declaring your sexual preference. I'm, a, I'm aware of that. Cool. Put that to one side. Politics wise, really you're gonna you're gonna not talk to your family members because they're tories you're not gonna talk to your family members because they're republican like how immature are you like half of the country more than most more, more likely than not votes that way anyway so how how are you inoculating yourself from cancelling your parents when you have no idea what your manager voted for what your colleague voted for or what the person that serves you the flipping subway sandwich at lunchtime voted for you have no idea half the country voted for these people they're not a silent minority they are you know part of the populace that you live with they are your brothers and sisters you have to exist with them in the same world why would you fob them in it makes absolutely no sense unless you saw a video of them at the dc capitol building legitimately hanging a family of a family of you know of black people by a noose in front of the building and then stoning them as as they kind of struggle for their last bits of breath cool maybe fob them in there but just for simply being there and wearing a hat right and screaming out flipping QAnon conspiracies at the top of their lungs shouldn't really matter it shouldn't they should just that should just be oh those are my crazy family members they're a bit nuts so in it let's just keep it moving but anyway, I digress. Let's get on to the actual article itself. So this, I guess, is the young lady that's 18. I'm assuming so, because she looks very young. Let's consume here. Um, Helena Duke, 18, thought it was odd when her mum shut off her location on her phone tracking app that they shared earlier this week. Her mum, Teresa Duke, had told her vaguely that she was taking Helena's aunt for a procedure. But Helena suspected that her Trump-supporting mum may have secretly travelled to Washington, D.C. for a delusional last-ditch stop to still rally. Of course, now, there we have it. She knew... She's aware that her mom supports Trump and she doesn't. It's same. I had the same sort of feeling, ill feeling when you remember that trend on TikTok for a while where kids were basically, I think it was during the Black Lives Matter protest, they secretly recalled themselves arguing with their parents about, you know, Black Lives Matter and whether or not they agree with the slogan, whether or not they think the protests are just, whether or not they think, you know, whatever it may be. And it's just a pointless, pro pointless debate because more often than not, your parent, regardless of where they lean politically, they're going to be a little bit more conscious of what it means and the negative effects and the 
but yeah, the negative effects of burning down a building, such as, you know, a flipping car auto dealership, local one in the area, a fast food chain, in an effort to kind of broad, broaden your message. They know that it's basically counterproductive. But when you're a kid, when you're younger, that's probably usually all that kind of beef of vendetta, anarchism thing probably resonates more with you. You have this weird warped worldview where you think if you burn everything down, people are going to start listening to you. And that's not how it happens, right? You have to kind of do things in a more tactical way. You have to do things with a little bit more consideration with other people's feelings. So when those kids are having those arguments and debates, what you're basically seeing is a generational gap. You're seeing a kid not understanding at all where their parents' worldviews come from because they're not that they, they, they haven't lived enough, they haven't experienced enough. And of course, on the other side of the thing, you're seeing the parent not understand at all where the kids' worldview is because they have no rem they don't really remember how their mind was when they were 18 because there's so much has happened between then and now. So this is it's the kind of same thing, and I didn't really feel good when I saw those videos either. Anyway, we continue, we digress. On Thursday morning, Helena's cousin had sent her a viral video of a physical encounter on the streets of DC, filmed on Tuesday, the night before the Capitol was raided. Watching the clip, Helena identified her mum, her aunt, Annie Lorenz, and her uncle, Richard Lorenz. Oh, Lorenz, is that Taylor Lorenz's family? You know that um, social media snitch on Twitter? Is that her? Maybe. <laughs> As part of a group of white people confronting a black woman who had hit Therese um, in the face after she had tried to grab them. Her quote, my initial reaction was like, oh my gosh, I was right. I was actually right about them being there. Helena told BuzzFeed News. It was very surreal because it was an insane video, first of all. And then it was a relevant um, revelation that, oh my God, that's my mother. That's her. So she's actually talking to BuzzFeed News too. This girl is insane. Don't snitch on your parents, people, please. Oh my God. A black woman in the video had tweeted that a group of five people were harassing her a long time um, and had tried to take her belongings from her hands in her pocket. She declared to comment on the incident to BuzzFeed News without legal presentation. Helena's family members did not respond to emails. So the black woman that's getting assaulted refuses to talk to the media. Yet the white girl, who's the daughter of the person doing the assaulting, who's at home, is snitching on her parents. Make it make sense. Stunned to see her mum, Helena decided to tweet about the video and identified her family members and there's the people in it. Um, she says, hi mum, remember the time you told me um, I shouldn't go to BLM protest, but they um, could get violent. This is you, she wrote. So she did this is you to her mum. This you? You know that whole thing people do on, on social media? Oh my God. Horrendous to see. Um, Helena's viral tweets had hit a nerve with many of her other Americans who had become distanced from loved ones and once Trump's era due, um, in the Trump era due to them um, changing politics or becoming caught up in a queue on mass delusion. Now, I understand this is a thing in America where legitimately families have been completely... It's the same thing in the UK, right? We, had, we, we have it here with Brexit and the Tories. There's obviously a rift. There's obviously a rift in families that's, you know, in some respects is... Maybe COVID is going to heal the rift because, you know, I think most people on both sides of the political aisle can see, you know, no one's really doing a good job of handling COVID. Maybe it might happen. Who knows? But that rift that's been caused with Trump might be part of his lasting legacy, isn't it? The fact that he was able to be a president of the United States and not only alienate people based on the fact that he wears a red tie, but also alienate entire groups of people and families and shit. And the, the bad thing is because of how it's ending now, it doesn't seem like it's going to be ever... Do you ever see... That's the thing. Because if you're willing to fob, fob in your mum now, do you ever see a scenario where they're suddenly going to live under a shared household and just tolerate each other's different worldviews? Would that ever happen? It probably won't, innit? it? Because if you're willing to fob in your mum now when essentially your party has quote-unquote won, what are you willing to do later on down the line when you feel like maybe they're being dangerous and saying crazy things? Do you think she, do you think she reported her mum's tweets on social media too? Imagine that. Your own child is reporting your tweets to get you suspended or banned. It continues here. It said, before President Trump was elected, she was a Democrat for the majority of her life, Helena said. And then I don't know what happened. Something switched in her brain and she went through a very dramatic change to very far right. As you're free to do, right? It's a whatever. It's politics. Who gives a shit? Why should it matter? And again, you're her child. You're 18 years old. Does she live at home? If your mum, I'm sorry, but if your mum is the one giving you flipping toast and jam in the morning and washing your underpants and giving you allowance money, you have no opinion. You have no right to say anything about her political leanings whatsoever until you step out of your uh, out of that crib and earn money for yourself. That's my essential rule. 
she continues. Um, she says she receives a lot of direct messages from people sharing similar experiences. She quotes, I think it's kind of makes it, it makes me feel better knowing other people have gone through the same thing. I obviously feel very sad that they have to go through it um, too, but I'm not alone in that we're, in that they're not alone. The unrest and violence of the Capitol on Wednesday has driven a deeper wedge into an already strange relationship between Trump supporters and those around them. Many have spoken out about um, arguing with loved ones who blame Antifa for violence. The FBI has said there's no evidence that anti-fascist activists played a role, of course. Course. Alex Jones is true and not talking about his shit. Um, it continues to hear people who have family members at the Capitol have talked about their anger and disappointment. Robin Sweet, a woman whose dad stormed the Capitol with a mob, was uh, arrested, told BuzzFeed previously, I'm completely ashamed and disgusted of him. <sighs> Don't talk to the media disparagingly about people that are in your family don't ever do it it's already bad talking to the media regardless don't ever talk to journalists they're always going to twist your words and make you seem like a complete lunatic but don't especially talk to journalists when they are asking you to make statements regarding your family members have some self-respect it's un it continues it's unclear if Hannah's family's members were at the Capitol on Wednesday then thousands when thousands of Trump supporters inside by him and descended on the building to try and overturn the election that he lost five people died as a result of the assumption that let's continue um local and federal law enforcement agencies have asked for help identifying the writers again don't identify writers either in a screenshot text message reviewed by BuzzFeed News Helena asked her mom where she was on Wednesday night but did not get a response the next day she shared text message screenshots between her mom and the journalist oh my god Helena what are you doing that's your mom holy shit said here the next day after Teresa text saying she was at home Helena simply responded how's your nose please call me to talk to me if you really want to know her mum wrote her mum and aunt whom she said um was close to the relationship until the breakdown recent years have sent her pleas and threats to remove her tweets we are not proud of the things we went in dc and he said in a text review at buzzfeed i know you're upset but putting us in danger isn't going to solve anything please i'm begging you to remove it of course and she didn't remove it so she fobbed her parents not only to a journalist she also obeyed them up on twitter sent an amount you know un unspecified amount of trolls to their account to harass them and now she's talking to the press <sighs> i honestly don't think i did anything wrong in the situation helena said of course you don't you absolute dickhead helena said she's upset her family members actions and the family's hypocrisy and she said that when her mother discovered last year that she participated in black lives matter march she told her she was no longer welcomed in her home okay she told me she thought black lives matter was a violent organization and they would incite violence i felt almost heartbroken however over how they viewed the world and how skewed it was and how they would um do this and allow me to express my views um but showing showing that they can act in such a horrible way is just really appalling to me um i'm honestly very disappointed to be part of this family that is so just very not welcome and supportive i don't feel very safe being part of this what is it is it because she has a black boyfriend or something and she's riding so hard for black lives matter only in the first place that's a little bit odd anyway to begin with you know anyone i don't know maybe maybe just me speaking as a black person but any white person that's like super hardcore you know black lives matter and willing to flipping abandon their family for a flipping organization that's dubious to say the least even amongst black people that you know it's either you love rum too much or you have a little bit of a screw loose but jesus christos man what an absolute psychopath this girl is why would you do that earning earning likes online and virtue signaling points by fobbing in your parents isn't the way to go honestly i guarantee it isn't the way to go but again maybe i'm wrong who knows let me know in the comments down below if you if you would fob in your parents um because of their political beliefs um i hope you wouldn't but let me know if you would in the chat and in the comments down below i'd love to know your thoughts and opinions